Hi guys, hope you're doing great. In the coming few days, I'll be creating quite a few videos uh, around scraping using Golang. So this video that I'm creating right now is the first of a small mini series, which will have like two, three videos, right? And so what we're building right now is a Golang scraper and we will no, not use any library. So we will use only Go routines and channels. That's all we'll use. So we won't be using Go query or we won't be using Kali or anything like that. We'll just use plain, simple Golang. Right, so that means we'll have to write a little more code than usual, but uh, but I want to show you how you can do it without using any library also, right? And uh, so the the command, when we'll actually uh, make our main.go file and the command that we'll uh, use to run it, which is go run main.go, uh, in the terminal itself, we'll pass the URLs that we want to scrape. So we'll pass the URL one, URL two, or there could be many more URLs as well. And what we want the scraper to do, it's, it's going to be a very simple scraper firstly, and what we want it to do is it's going to print out any unique links that it finds on these URLs. Okay. So how we're we going to do it is that uh, our code will make a HTTP request to the URL. So all the URLs that we have passed, it will, uh, you know, go across them and it'll, uh, you know, make a request to all the URLs, uh, HTTP request to all the URLs and get a response. And we'll use this package and net slash HTML package to uh, pass the response, the HTML response. And uh, the output of this uh, package is usually segregated into tokens, right? And the tokens that we get uh, look something like this. There could be an error token, there could be a start tag token, end tag token. Now, I know token sounds uh, like a confusing term. It's basically, you know, parsing the HTML and dividing into uh, chunks that we can, uh, you know, work with. So. So I'm, I've given an example of uh, what a start tag token looks like. So it's A. Uh, in, in our case, since we want links, right? So if you know HTML, then you know that in hey, A and href, we keep our links, right? And end tag token will be like slash A, where uh, is basically the end of uh, the link, right? So the closing tag. Uh, again, if you know it, HTML, uh, I'm pretty sure you understand this. And uh, then we have error tokens, which are used to represent, which basically this uh, package slash HTML package used to uses to represent the end of a document, right? So we know when the document has ended. And then uh, after we've segregated those, those tokens, we start finding the, uh, the start tag token. So if we find it, then we extract the href, the basically the links that we need. And then we run some, uh, you know, logic, to validate where uh, whether this link that we found the href link that we found if uh, it in fact begins with http right so we need to check that and uh, and then we need to you know uh, take these all these links in uh, into a list and then we want to print all out all those uh, links that we found so those will be the steps that will be after this so this is uh, in general what we are building right now and like I said, we won't use any library, so uh, we'll have to use routines, right? So for each URL, the each URL that uh, the user passes in the CLI or in the terminal, uh, we'll have a separate routine. So for URL one, we'll have a separate routine. For URL two, we'll have a separate routine, right? And then we'll have two uh, notification channels. So in the first channel, which is this, the shared channel, where all the routines will publish all the data that they find, all these uh, these links that they find, right? The, which we'll use to print them to the screen. In the second channel, we'll have uh, something called as a notification channel where each routine will say that, you know, this uh, website is done, basically like publishing a done message so that we know when to print to the screen, right? So everything is kind of connected here. Uh, so this is a nice uh, lesson if you are uh, you know, looking to dig deep into routines and channels and how they can be used in a practical way uh, for a real world problem. and. Uh, in my opinion, at least, uh, Golang is really, really good for scraping. I know people use Python a lot, but because of uh, Go routines and channels, I feel that Golang is much better suited for crawling and scraping than Python. That's just my opinion. And so that's why I'm going to show you in the next few videos will be around scraping.